Okay guys, hold on. I don't have much time to explain this, but I know who the real dream is. Okay guys, just, just hear me out for a second here. I don't have much time for the dreams that's gonna be fuck alive. I am dream. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> What's up, Gamer Alert Nation? It's your host, me! Help! <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new episode where I don't know who the, the hell I'm doing. Tap, hi, the hell, hum, ja. Hello! Welcome back to this brand new episode of stuff that is going on on the internet. Dream! Minecraft! If you've been on this site for the past year or something, you've probably heard of these two combined together. We're talking about Dream and his fans in this episode. So strap in, buckle up, grab your potions of fucking harming and let's fucking burn something. So if for some godforsaken reason you don't know who the hell Dream is, then... Hey, welcome to the site. It's called YouTube. Uh, I know you've been probably in a coma for the past three years, but I uh, hope you're doing well and welcome back to society. Okay, so that we're all up to point. Minecraft Dream is a YouTuber with 18 million subscribers where he basically posts videos of him playing the game in a specific type of way. Um, recently that has evolved into him debunking Minecraft myths, but most popularly his manhunt series. Well, there isn't inherently fucking anything wrong with that. It's gotten to the point where he's created most of something like 50 of those types of videos. And I don't blame him, those videos get like 20 million views per video. But it's getting a tad bit fucking repetitive when your titles are Dream vs. 4 Hunter Speedrun Rematch Final Reborn Deluxe 2 Electric Boogaloo Fucking Help <laughs> And he recently started his Dream Survival Minecraft Multiplayer part Where he and a bunch of other YouTubers are going to play the game And basically do wacky stuff and create a wacky situation where most of it is scripted And his fanbase doesn't know because they're absolutely 10 years old Dream itself seems like a nice guy that doesn't really try to bother anyone. I mean, he's been in this drama, fair share of bits, done some cheating. You know, the, the regular <laughs> Minecraft YouTuber stuff, at least he doesn't have the allegations uh -oh. yet. But where I wanna talk about specifically in this video is his fan base. Because you know, Minecraft fan base has always had the most positive spotlight put on them, where there's basically a bunch of screaming children <laughs> that don't know how to actually like something without taking it into a worship area where they're starting a cult around it and basically burning everyone alive that doesn't like the same thing as them. Okay, his fanbase. Well, it's the regular Minecraft fanbase. Basically your regular 11 to 17 year olds that watch his videos and enjoy them. It's basically Yox, Kesdan, TDM mixed with a bit of new Zoom humor. So you can kind of understand how that can basically implode into itself and create a toxicity pit of despair. But basically how it works, if you, if you play a game with Dream, you're very and you basically get a million subscribers in a single month. Like this guy on Twitter I found that looks surprisingly like me and I don't know why. But he played with Dream and now he has a million subscribers. So Dream, if you're ever up for it, hit me up, bro. I please, I'm begging, I'm desperate. But still, it's a Minecraft audience, so you all know the drill. What basically means is that there are fans, stands, we will basically call them, that take it way too far. The the type of people that just can't enjoy something for what it is, but have to take it into a new fucking level and that creates something like standing and i know i talked about standing in the past mostly talking about k-pop stands anime stands pedophile stands <laughs> those are people that take a subject and take it way too far idolizing it worshipping it and basically if you don't like the same stuff as them you die. And that's the basic rule on the internet. If someone doesn't have the same opinion as you, they're a bad person. They, they deserve less. They are not your equal. And you will make sure they know that. 
But these are the type of people you see running around on servers that wear the dream skin, think they're fucking epic and stuff because they, they see green blob fucking parkour over three hunters into the end, kill the ender dragon. And I know, that's very cool and all. But it's still one guy with a YouTube channel, okay? And you know how stands operate. They will defend a content creator on anything that they do wrong. Even if it's not something inherently wrong that they did, they will defend them to the ends of the earth. Because you know when that time Dream got accused of cheating in his Minecraft speedrun, where he started defending himself, fucking hiring a astrologist or something, pseudo fucking intellectual genius that had to <laughs> defend how he didn't cheat, which he clearly did, but hey, if you don't want to accept that dream, that's fine, hey, fine with me. There's always a chance that you get 20,000 ender pearls from those pigments in your first try ever. Sure, there is a chance. I am not going into that any further because that's in the past, okay? But these are the type of people that will come up with any excuse because they like the guy, okay? And public service announcements for the people that take worshipping into their fucking favorite Minecraft YouTuber. It's a green fucking blob you're worshipping, okay? He doesn't care. He may like that you enjoy his videos, but he will never see you as the thing you're trying to be for him, like his friend. He, he is not your friend, okay? It's it, He is not. He doesn't know you. He likes that you watch his videos, but that's it, okay? I'm sorry to break it to you. I know, Santa isn't real. Uh, Minecraft YouTuber doesn't love you. Oh no, your whole world is falling apart. I'm sorry for that, okay? But it's it's real. And I know it may seem a bit different than the K-pop stands because at least there, the idols don't interact with their fans. And on YouTube, he at least interacts on some type of basis with his fans in the comments or something like that and listens to them and asks to please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet because only 1% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed so please please hit the bell because that is very cool epic that's it okay he enjoys that you watch his video that's it don't take it any further you're there you're his viewer you're his audience you're not his friend you're not his lover for God's sake, why are people so fucking obsessed with romanticizing faceless YouTubers that they can basically never show their face because it would ruin their career. You've had the, this happens to Corpse, this happens to Dream, this happens to any faceless YouTuber. It's, it's insane because the people that watch their videos are not very smart and they basically expect something to look like him now. So if he ever comes out with a face reveal... <laughs> but back on the toxicity part, these people will basically call you out, hate on you, burn you alive, try to fucking Sekiro visceral attack you in the fucking armpit if you say you don't like his content, if you say it's repetitive, if you say uh, it's not very entertaining, if you say it's loud as fuck. They hate you for that, because it's their content they enjoy. How dare you not enjoy that content? How dare you? It's green blob, he just jump! Very cool! And you should enjoy that as well. But it's not. Okay. But I can't really blame this much on Dream's part. He tries to manage his fan base as, as best as he can. I mean, he's still 21 years old. He probably doesn't know how to handle such a massive audience of kids basically he isn't a babysitter so i don't blame him for that that he doesn't know he grew too large in a short amount of time with a fan base he couldn't manage and now it's kind of spiraling out of control where you got this bunch of screaming children wanting to defend him to the ends of the earth even though he doesn't want that but hey that doesn't mean you can't enjoy dream videos, okay? I enjoy the occasional doo -doo -doo -doo, and that's fine and all. So just watch whatever you want. Don't go into worshipping and starting cults and don't stab anyone that doesn't like the same stuff as you do, okay? Because that's illegal and then you die. <laughs> But hey, if you don't agree with me, if you think I should burn on the stake because I said something that you were a dream stan and then you are very annoying, 
Fight me in the comments. I will fight you one each, each and every single one of you that tries to to like defend this point of view you have about popular green blob. No, I will fight you, and I will break your Nico Nico Nika. But that's basically it. If you like video, that's very cool. Don't love me though. That's wrong. Don't do that. Maybe you can. I won't. Maybe not love you back. Don't know. But hey, smack like, subscribe, because that's also pretty cool. That's available. That's free. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.